Good morning, peeps. Welcome back to the vlog. So today, uh, there's a bunch of things I got to get done. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about the future plans for my Evo and my truck. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts, but it's still like a, a long wait for everything. Since COVID and everything, it just takes a lot longer to get stuff. But uh, today, we do have to clean the truck, the Evo, and the van. Uh, mostly the interior because I know it's gonna rain uh, next I mean not rain but I know it's gonna snow next week so I'm not too worried about the exterior but the interior is really dirty and all three of the vehicles especially the van when I took it down to Georgia but yeah so I just really want to clean it up today um, really not doing anything crazy next week uh, the next couple of vlog is just pretty much me waiting on parts for the evil and for the truck so the first mod for the truck it's going to be the steps uh, i ordered these already uh, so it's going to take about a couple days to get uh, i didn't i didn't go with a crazy brand it was just a cheap uh, ebay brand uh, but it looks good you know i mean i seen one uh there was a video where a guy who has my truck actually messaged in one of our comments uh he has the same running board it looks pretty good so i want to go for it also i want to get this cover for the truck which i haven't done yet and tint for the the truck but i have to schedule with kit so yeah that's what's going on with the truck uh somebody comment on the previous video of the the truck that there's a sensor here you put that you could just open it without using your key fob so i need to look into that i haven't done that or since i haven't actually done anything with this truck yet so but yeah uh Let's go ahead and get this truck clean. Uh, it's pretty cold outside today. I mean, it says 54, but I feel like it's like 30s, but it's really cold outside because of the wind. We're going to head to one of my favorite car washes, uh, the three C's up in Sterling Boulevard. So to get a good clean interior and exterior, come back, grab the van, get the van clean. And then we're going to go to the touchless wash over sheets and get the Evo clean. And then I'll talk to you guys more about uh, the future mods for the Evo, uh, what we're waiting on for, what we have already. Um, stuff like that uh on this vlog so yeah let's go get this truck clean i still love this truck i mean i drive this truck so much now uh i don't even touch the evil too much we already got uh 1400 miles almost 1500 miles on this truck and it hasn't been even a month yet so yeah the evil is i'm saving a lot of miles on evil um but yeah the truck's getting a lot of miles also guys uh my mic right here uh, you guys don't really see it, but I lost the uh, cover foam piece for it. So I don't, I'm not sure how the audio is. So I'm waiting for a replacement. So if the audio is pretty bad for this video. I'm sorry about it. Uh, I don't know how I misplaced it or lost it, but it's not here anymore. So I have to work with what we got. So I don't know if you guys know this place. It's called uh, Three C's, which is located off of Route 7 next to the Snoko. It's actually a pretty good uh, car wash place. They're pretty detailed with the interior. Uh, obviously the exterior, if you don't want your paint to be all messed up because they don't have a touchless wash. So they use the, you know, the scurvy stuff, uh, the rubber scurvy things. But as far as the interior clean, they're really, really detailed. So it's definitely one of my favorite places to go wash my car. Uh, second favorite place if I, I'm too lazy to do the interior myself uh, but obviously my favorite favorite place is the sheets uh, touchless wash uh, but uh, we do that with the Evo later but let's go in and go pay for it and then go inside there and get this vehicle done I think it usually takes like 30 minutes I'm not sure if I have time to do the van but we'll see and here we go this thing I was talking about uh, it's not the touchless uh, like I'm used to but it's not too bad uh, I'm really here for the interior clean Exterior is pretty much you can get anywhere with the exterior, but they're really good with their interior clean. You guys got the truck back. Looks ultra clean. Oh man, they did a great job. I'll give you guys a better preview, but clean all the dash, all up here, even down here. Oh man, yeah, they usually take the mats off clean if you got the platinum wash, but car, the truck is extremely clean, feels good. Oh, I haven't cleaned this since I bought it, so it's been about a month since I cleaned this vehicle, so. Couldn't be more happier. All right, we got back. But I just want to show you guys the how clean this thing is. Look, so there is a little bit dirt here, but I don't know. Maybe it always like this when it comes to these weather tech stuff. Uh, they always leave a fade to it, but other than that, they took it out, they cleaned it. In the back, if you don't use it, it's always clean. Look at that. 
attention to detail guys there's no drippy water marks shine up the tires pretty good Whew. overall I love the look I love it so much I'm not sure right now if I got time to take care of the van and the evil so I'm definitely gonna go get the evil clean first before I get the van clean uh, hopefully we have enough time to do the van if not I could always do it tomorrow uh, like I said the future mod for this truck will be the running board uh, the cover and the tent about it uh, yep that's pretty much about all I'm gonna do to the truck but let's get a cold start on the evil peeps so back in the evil uh just want to do a quick update before we leave the house to go wash the car i think i'm going back to cc's i mean i really like how they clean the interior i mean i got the wrap on so i'm not too really you know care about the paint getting messed up or anything or the wrap getting messed up because we are going to take the wrap off eventually in the spring uh but yeah first thing first let's talk about the recaro seats as you know in a few videos ago about a month and a half ago i showed you guys the uh new recaro seats that we're gonna get for the evil we got the from from the top from that time to now we got the planner seats bracket but we don't have the slider yet uh talked to vivid racing and the slider is supposed to be here next month so around next month mid mid next month we're gonna have the new recaro seats inside the evil oh my god i can't wait to get rid of these rally art seats but yeah as far as the recaros we still have it we're just still waiting on the sliders uh, the next mod for the car is the cluster, uh, the instrument clusters for my gauge. So I got this custom cluster made from ES Custom. Uh, I'll have his link on the Instagram on the bottom. So what he does is get the OEM regular cluster and he built two, uh, he built more gauge pods inside the cluster and uh, to, so you guys can put the gauge. Pretty much essentially is a, it looks like the Ortiz pod, which is one right here, one right there, but I also did an extra one up here because uh, the reason why is because I want to remove this. I want to take this off, put the old piece back on because once we get the cage in, we won't, this will be in the way. So I might as well just put the third cage up there, which is going to look really cool. I've been having a lot of mixed review with the Ortiz uh, pods uh, and the carbon fiber racing pod is just a little too expensive and I really don't need all that carbon. So uh, I've been, you know, searching around and I came across um, the ES Custom uh, link and hearing a lot of good reviews from his uh, clusters even better than the ortiz pod so i'll let you guys know what it is he's been getting back and forth with me he's on the last quoting uh to clear it and then he's going to send it to me so i'll have it and the gauge we're going to be running on the evo will be the um, uh, air fuel ratio gauge and the boost gauge along with the flex fuel gauge here um, that's pretty much going to be the next thing we're going to install in the evo is the new gauges and the cluster for the evo and also, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, a while back, I think it's about two and a half, three months now, I got the Driven Fab dual catch can for the Evo, but I do not have the metal valve cover that comes with the bong to attach the catch, can, uh, catch cans to, uh, and I still haven't ordered yet. So uh, eventually I will get that, hopefully next month, we get a little extra money, I'll order the new valve cover and I'll get that powder coated red along with a couple other parts of the Evo red and also, Thanks to Dan, Dan got me this, giving me his uh, AMS upper intercooler piping, which is, uh, I think it's the one piece. Uh, it's white, but I'll get that powder coated red and we can replace that with from the K&N uh, upper intercooler. I think I'm gonna leave the K&N intake for now, uh, but we're not sure yet. Eventually this summer or this spring when we start going to more car shows, I really want to upgrade the interior look uh, of the engine bay. So pretty much a lot of dress up, dress up stuff. Um, yeah, as far as the driven, as far as that, we still we still need the metal valve cover in order to install the catch can. Ooh, back to CC's. <laughs> oh, I'm extremely lazy today. Oh god, it is cold. Plus, I usually wash my car at home, but I don't want the line to freeze up with the hose and everything. So I just wait until the spring before I could start washing my car again. Scurvy, scurvy,
right, peeps. So just got the car clean. She looks amazing, ready for this weekend. I think we're doing a CNC. Well, I don't think. I know we're doing a CNC this weekend with Squirrel and Dan. Uh, maybe Jason's coming out. I'm not sure. Uh, well, we'll find out soon. Uh, actually, I don't think Jason's coming out. But yeah, definitely doing a CNC on Saturday. Uh, you'll see the video post after this one. Uh, as far as the interior, like I said, we're waiting for the cage. I don't know when it's gonna get here, about another month or so, the cage will get in here. Once the seat gets put on, we have to upholster the back uh, to match the front, because it kind of look weird where you got nice Recaro seats in the back and then you got, you know, regular car cloth uh, seating in the rear. So I wanna get a leather uh, poster around this area. I think they do cat skin or something like that. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I gotta look around this area, try to get it to match as close as I can to the Recaro seats in the front. So yeah, that's that's pretty much as far as the interior goes. So actually, um, there's actually one more thing that needs to be done with the Evo uh, on the interior is this head unit. I've been looking for, uh, you know, the. So I've been looking at between two different types of head unit for this uh, for the Evo. It's either the Android 10.1 or 10.2 screen, or it's the Tesla. Uh, screen which is like the 12 inch the big screen looks like sort of like the one in the truck uh, I'm not sure if the, t the the 12 inch is too much. I think I might just go with the Android one So it looks a lot cleaner uh, pretty much it just fills up this whole space right here And I think it'll look a lot nicer in Evo. Uh, I don't use the radio too much, but when I do I do like to see You know a better setup than the current one that the Evo has right now um but yeah, as far as that, I think that's pretty much it for the interior uh, for right now, for right now. Uh, I do want to get a new short shifter. Uh, remember, you guys remember when I installed a Torque Solution short shifter. It didn't work out so well for me, but it worked for Tim. Uh, I'm thinking about the one that Dan just recently put in his uh, Evo, which is the WK uh, short shifter. It comes in a nice looking case. It looks pretty, you know, uh, it looks really good. Like it looks really good for interior wise. And I and when Dan, Dan told me the shifting is really amazing as well, he compared it to his w, uh, TWK shifter or the K shifters, uh, short shifter. This one is a lot better, he said. So I think I'm gonna go with that, uh, but I'm not sure when I'm gonna get that done. But uh, yeah, that, that thing, that's it for the interior right now. And uh, Guys, this has quickly become one of my favorite spots to bring the evil. It's just a beautiful view of One Loudon. Sun is setting right now, One Loudon is over there. It's such a beautiful sight. Man, it's so nice. But anyways, I wish you guys would have seen it. I just caught an S14, beautiful car, actually on this road right here. I was trying to wave him down to come over here to look at the vehicle, but he just took off like he's trying to race on a 35 miles an hour zone but it's all good but i wish i could have showed you guys man i was trying to pick up the camera and i was just trying to you know stay with him but <laughs> that dude just bounced i'm pretty sure he's a lot faster than ours but it's a beautiful green color uh it's just yeah it looks like it's modded the heck out it looks really beautiful but definitely i wish i could show you guys but anyways get back to the video uh what's going to be next done on the exterior is obviously i really want to uh get my airlift kit in so for the summer, we're going to take these coolovers. So they got BC coolovers on. I want to get put an airlift performance kit on. I talked with kit already. I got the price, got the quote installed and everything. So uh, hopefully by the summer, we'll be able to install that in the vehicle. And as far as the various rear bumper, that is a must for this Evo. So I'm definitely going to take this out by the, by the summer and put the various V2 bumper on there. And also for the fender quarter, for rear quarter panel flares, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, I really don't want to cut into the Evo, so I'm not sure yet. We'll see what it looks like with the airlift kit on. I will, I'm thinking about keeping this wheel set up. Uh, once I put the airlift kit on, I'll, I'll see if this wheel setup is good uh, or not. And from there, we'll figure it out. I want to get also side skirt extension for this Evo. I mean, it looks a lot better and more aggressive. I was with a uh, side skirt extension, especially the, uh, Airflow Dynamics ones, it comes out with like a shark fins in the back. Uh, we'll, we'll see, or the Rex speed one, I'm not sure exactly yet. Uh, front splitter, I'm thinking about getting in as well. So, yeah, I'm not changing the spoiler and I'm not changing the hood, so I'm leaving that. Um, yeah, the window guard, 
I got it installed. I have it. I just haven't installed yet. But yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna go with the exterior. And so you guys know the wrap is coming off this summer. Uh, I'm putting it back to white, so I'm gonna get these part painted white. Uh, you know, the, it was gray when we wrapped it. So yeah, the, the car is gonna be back to its normal pearl white color. Uh, I think I am gonna miss the green. The green gets a lot more attention than just an all white car. But you know, I, I do like white a lot. We'll see if we go keep the green uh, for one more summer or not. So uh, I'll think about that when the times come. But yeah, that's as far as all the mods we're gonna do with the Evo. Uh, I'm keeping the exhaust, it's not changing the tail lights. Everything is gonna stay the same. Uh, the, the rear diffuser is gonna be sold anyways. I mean, the car is still, I mean, if you look at it, it's just, it actually is just perfect the way it is, you know? So it's, like, it's, it's not much you still want to do to this vehicle. I mean, I like the way it is already. It's just a beautiful car. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like everything is just amazing with the vehicle. Uh, for as far as engine mod goes, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what else I want to do with the engine. Um, I, I am, like I said, I am going to powder coat a lot of stuff interiorly and I am going to dress up the engine. But as far as, you know, changing the turbo, manifold, stuff like that, we'll, we'll see. Uh, also when Kit installed the gauges for me, because I'm not going to do the gauge myself, because it has to connect to the O2 Samsung downpipe. He's going to wrap, heat wrap the downpipe for me, because we took the old heat shield off. So it's running, you know, pretty hot in the summer. Uh, luckily, it's in the winter, I'm not really driving it much. So hopefully when uh, he gets it done, it take care of all the hotness. There's a lot of rubbing right now on my wheel which is this part right here i think i'm gonna have to have kit cut it or fab it somehow because it's just making a whole lot of noise when i'm making a hard right turn and there's something right here that's making a lot i don't know what maybe it's also rubbing onto this piece right here not sure yet it's also making it's just making a whole lot of noise on this side um loving this cover from uh, carbon fiber racing it just sticks pretty well it looks amazing but yeah that's as far as the mod it is we you know, maybe exchange brake uh, wipers, and that's about it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The car will be completely to spec, uh, to the spec I want it to be by the summer. So we can go to a lot of more car shows. Right? But yeah, peeps, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and all the updates is gonna come to the Evo in the next few videos. I'll show you guys more onto it once we get to it. There's a couple of videos coming out where I'm gonna talk about the cost of the vehicle and a couple of things that I should have done beforehand. Uh, a couple things I should skip, a couple things I should buy, stuff like that in the next few videos. So I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for it, enjoy it, and let me know in the comments below uh, what do you guys think about the video so far. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in to this vlog, and I'll see you next time. Peace.